on the whole, we are headed towards an, a society which will be largely unplugged. Unplugged from fossil fuel sources, unplugged from the wall, and all of that uh, technology relies centrally on one thing, and that is the portability of the power system. No laptop I know uh, with full capability will last more than a couple of hours. Electric vehicle, or EV for short, fundamentally is restricted by the amount of miles you can drive in a day. What we are all about is to bring about a revolution with electrochemical energy conversion and storage. So battery is a storage device. You store energy in it and then when you need it, you can withdraw it. You will see a huge difference now. Fuel cells, on the other hand, are energy conversion devices. It is a direct conversion of chemical energy to electrical energy. So ultimately for that conversion process, you are still reliant on a a fossil-based feedstock. The goal, however, is to make hydrogen from renewable sources. All auto companies out there have a fuel cell program, but the big problem is the cost. All the fuel cells right now in the low temperature domain rely on platinum-based catalyst. Platinum is expensive, and so our quest is to completely eliminate all noble metals. Uh, from the fuel cell system. On the other side, in the battery domain, we are looking for very, very uh, innovative concepts to develop frontline catalysts for lithium air batteries and also to replace the lithium with safer materials. Even though we focus a lot of our attention on fundamental research, the goal is never to lose sight of the fact that the practical batteries and fuel cells have to be made out of these devices. We are one of the very few groups which actually work with companies directly to translate our developments to their products. I'm passionate because of the significant potential of change it'll bring to our society and for the better. I'm really fascinated by the idea that we will relegate these cars running on internal combustion engine to a museum. Also what fascinates me is not having to plug in your laptop. Last time I was uh, going to China, there was this 13 hour trip to Beijing. And of course my laptop was gone in the first two or two and a half hours. And after that, I was reading a book, which isn't a terrible thing, but I wish I could use my laptop. Mm -hmm.